A wise man once said to me, we don't need more shopping centers in this country, we just need better ones. Truer words have never been spoken. When we joined Bricksmore just over seven years ago, we found a nationwide portfolio of older, well-located shopping centers that had been underloved and chronically undermanaged and underinvested in, but were subject to leases with rents well below market. In that portfolio, we found an unprecedented opportunity to deliver compelling value and returns through enhanced leasing, management, and reinvestment. Importantly, we also found our purpose as a company to create and own shopping centers that truly are the vibrant centers of the communities we serve. We met with you, our investors, in late 17 to lay out our value-added plan, its timing, and its anticipated impact. I'm pleased to report that with your support, we've crushed it. Since 2016, we've delivered nearly $900 million of accretive reinvestment and an incremental 11% return, creating over $740 million of value for our stakeholders. In addition, we've harvested over $2.5 billion of asset sales, acquired a billion of new assets, clustered our portfolio, and improved our operational efficiency in the process, all while deleveraging our balance sheet, generating sector-leading NOI growth even through the pandemic, which positions us to generate more NOI from our portfolio of 365 centers today than we did with the portfolio of 518 that we began with. I'm excited for you to learn more about our dramatic transformation, our industry-leading team, and our unique opportunity to drive sector-leading growth and internally funded value creation for the next several years. Hi, I'm Jim Taylor. Welcome to our transformation tour. Our trip begins at the Village at Newtown, just outside of Philadelphia, which was completely reimagined by renovating and expanding the center, adding an additional 60,000 square feet of density, with tenants such as Ulta, Free People, Lululemon, Crumble Cookies, and other locally favored boutiques and restaurants. We created a town square, including a public amphitheater and fire pit, which is now flanked by restaurants with outdoor seating. Since the reinvestment began, we've signed over 35 new leases, including six tenants that we relocated from the nearby downtown. Heading to the Marinex Center just outside of Manhattan, instead of just backfilling a former AMP with a single tenant, we elevated this outdated property into a thriving, walkable neighborhood center with a specialty grocer and a pharmacy. In addition, we acquired an adjacent parcel to add a multi-tenant building with food, fitness, and daily convenience uses such as Chipotle, Duck Donuts, and Orange Theory Fitness. Heading to Southwest Florida at Marco Island, we redeveloped this Publix anchored shopping center into the island's premier retail destination with phenomenal restaurants and services and boutiques, upgraded amenities, and an appearance that reflects the area's unique Floridian feel. And across the country, we've completed similarly transformative reinvestment at over 200 of our centers.
Our reinvestment program has not only transformed our centers and driven attractive ROI, but our execution has delivered as much value for our stakeholders as four to five billion dollars of ground up development at much, much lower risk. As we deliver on these redevelopments, we've demonstrated a flywheel effect on our returns through substantial improvements in small shop occupancy and double digit rent growth at the centers impacted. Let's look at that impact by the numbers. As shown here, the impact of our reinvestments not only drives substantial improvements in occupancy, we also realize premium rate. It's part of what's driven the overall performance of our portfolio, where we continue to set new records each and every quarter. Data has shown that once redevelopment stabilized, consumer traffic improves by an average of 33%, while also expanding the trade area size and population served. Other positive impacts include increased visit frequency and dwell time. The fundamental transformation of our portfolio and platform positions us well to continue to capture an outsized share of retailer demand going forward. As a top landlord to some of the nation's leading retailers, our relationships through our national accounts leasing team put us in a great position to continue to garner an outsized share of their new store expansion plans. We are invested in the markets where retailers want to grow. Plus, our relationships have enabled us to proactively recapture at-risk space, to leverage that robust retailer demand, and quickly advance new leases with tenants that improve the overall appeal of our centers. And this is just the beginning. We have over 430 million of in-process projects effectively pre-leased and underway at highly accretive returns. In Los Angeles at Cudahy Plaza, we replaced a Kmart with a Burlington and Choose Fitness while updating the center's overall look and feel. This Choose Fitness is ranked number one in traffic in California, and Burlington is ranked in the top 10 in the state. The redevelopment has stimulated substantial follow-on leasing, including most recently a Sprouts Farmer's Market, which is replacing a former Big Lots, and has brought this center to 100% lease at much, much higher rents. Heading to Northern California, the Davis Collection, which sits directly adjacent to the UC Davis campus and is anchored by Trader Joe's, is now being reimagined to create a retail and dining destination better suited for the adjacent university community. Nordstrom Rack, Ulta Beauty, PetSmart, Mendocino Farms, The Melt, and Urban Plates are just the beginning of this transformative new tenant lineup. At Wynwood Village, we continue to transform one of Dallas's largest and first open-air shopping centers by bringing in a new 110,000 square foot target, which follows our first phase of redevelopment at this asset that included the addition of a large format fitness use and a variety of compelling new small shop retail and quick serve restaurant tenants. In Philadelphia, our multi-phase redevelopment of Roosevelt Mall continues to transform this great urban open-air center, including the addition of a specialty grocer and 84,000 square feet of additional retail space. These additions are driving rents and significant tenant demand to be at one of Philadelphia's busiest intersections. And outside of Philadelphia, we are bringing Barnes & Noble and Bucks County's very first Whole Foods Market to Barn Plaza in Doylestown. Future reinvestment at this asset will include the accretive redevelopment of a vacant theater space, along with additional small shop retail and dining destination. And here is a quick look at additional projects that we have underway now across the country. Our shadow pipeline includes over 900 million of additional investment that will allow us to continue to drive attractive ROI and growth in cash flow for many years to come. Remember, our plan is self-funded through internally generated free cash flow, and importantly, is driven by opportunities that we own and control today. From an external growth perspective, clustering newly acquired investments near existing centers and attractive retail corridors expands our critical mass and provides long-term opportunities to leverage our market position. We're acquiring centers, importantly, that have a value-added component, whether that's through re-merchandising 
marking rents to market, larger redevelopment opportunities, or adding density. To see this strategy in action, let's head to Southwest Florida and meet our VP of leasing, Chris Ralph, and hear what he said when we acquired these assets. The Naples market is a great illustration of how we identify properties and seek to mine out the embedded value in each asset. We bought Bonita Springs recently, which was gonna be an anchor repositioning. And coming down to Granada Shops, there'll be another anchor repositioning in that shopping center. We previously redeveloped Park Shore with Burlington and Saks Off Fifth. And then you move down all the way further to Naples Plaza, which is a Publix anchored center, 100% leased. And then going further down to 41 and Collier is Freedom, where we had recently opened Planet Fitness, Burlington, and Home Goods. And then further down to the south is Marco Town Center, which we just reopened, Publix anchored center, totally relevant to the community in our beach themed total destination shopping center. So if you get off an I-75 exit and go to 41, you're gonna find a Bricksmore property. In San Clemente, California, an affluent community in Orange County, we acquired Plaza by the Sea, a shopping center anchored by Stater Brothers, which was directly adjacent to our existing Ocean View Plaza, a dual grocery anchored center with both a Ralph's and a Trader Joe's. This privately held property had been on our target acquisition list for a long time, and we were able to successfully purchase the property off market and densify the site. Since acquisition, we've increased rate and occupancy, exceeded our initial underwriting, and created significant leverage when negotiating renewals with existing tenants. These are just a few examples of clustering value-added investments in vibrant markets across the country. In fact, since 2015, we've self-funded over a billion dollars of accretive acquisitions. Our transformation is not only creating value, but we've delivered on our core purpose, of creating centers that are integrated into consumers' daily lives, reflecting their unique tastes and preferences, all while driving sales for our retail partners. The space itself, uh, as far as geographically, is a no-brainer, but the, the community behind it is a big plus. It was one of, if not the most successful opening in company history. What made us decide to open a second location was just that um, I noticed when we initially expanded into the, our current space, we were turning away enough people on the weekends especially where I was like, we could probably fill another restaurant. My opening day was probably one of the best opening days of a franchise. They still talk about me in training because people waited outside for lines and it was a revolving door. So I, I couldn't say any, you know, enough good things about this location, the center and what they've done. Let us end where it all begins. Our people are the foundation of our success. At Bricksmore, we've proven that great real estate matters but great people matter even more. Our team continues to exceed expectations on every front, delivering exceptional value to our stakeholders, and in doing so, continuing to drive us towards our purpose. Thank you for learning more about our transformation and the exciting growth opportunities that lie ahead of us, importantly, that are self-funded and exist within the assets we own and control. We look forward to continuing to deliver to you, our stakeholders, outstanding growth and outperformance.